Hey guys, welcome back to the Southern Rustic. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are new, my name is Sam and welcome. It's so glad to have you. If you are not yet subscribed, I would love for you to hit that little red subscribe button down below and be part of the family here at the Southern Rustic. You get tons of um, what's for dinners, recipes, a little bit of in, in between. Working on doing more of a, a vlog style. Haven't got there yet, but we're working on it. Um, it's just been so busy around here. I really haven't had the time to get um, a little bit of day-to-day -day things. But today, we're going to be doing a what's for dinner. It is a ver my version of my, <laughs> my Swedish meatballs recipe and a version of someone else's Swedish meatball recipe. I kind of combine the two to turn it into a crock pot um, meal. Every, everything is done in the crock pot. Super easy, so delicious. You're gonna love it. Very few ingredients, um, tons of flavor. So yeah, let's go over all of the ingredients and we'll get started. Okay guys, so this is a little overview of everything you're going to need. Very few ingredients, but it is so delicious. You're going to love it. Trust me on this one. Um, like I said, this is an overview of everything you're going to need. You can make this your own and tweak all of the ingredients to your taste. But well, we're going to start off with some meatballs. Now I just have the home style meatballs. You can use whatever flavor you like really up to you. I've got some egg noodles here. We're just going to use half this bag um, because just this whole bag is going to be way too many noodles. So we're just going to use half of this bag. A can of cream of chicken soup. If you don't like cream of chicken, you can do cream of mushroom um, or cream of celery. Those would be good. I've also got a little packet of onion soup mix. I've got some allspice. Now this is going to give this a ton of flavor. It's in my original recipe. So good. And this right here gives you that little bit of something something. It's really, really good to add to it. Um, some Worcestershire sauce, beef broth, uh oh, some oil. Just a little bit to keep, you know, everything from sticking to the crock pot because we all know how crock pots are. And some salt and pepper and to your taste because this has salt, this has salt. So just add a little bit of salt and then you can always add more later. But pepper to your taste. So yeah, let's get all of this set up. Get my crock pot plugged in here and uh, we'll get going. Hey bud, do you want to tell everybody hi? Can you sit for me? Can you see it? Good job. Can you tell everybody hi? You want to shake? <laughs> Good boy. Here you go. Good job. Okay guys, so I've got my crock pot here and I'm going to go ahead and just spray this with a little bit of oil just to keep everything from sticking. And I'm going to go ahead and add in these meatballs. I'm going to add the entire package because this will make for great leftovers. Okay, so I've got all of the meatballs in here. Let me get a spoon just even these out just a little bit. I'm going to slide that back and I'm going to add my cream of chicken soup to my chicken broth here. And I'm just going to get this all mixed together. Ah. 
I'm going to add in my soup mix right in there along with my Worcestershire sauce my allspice and I'm going to add just a little bit of parsley I didn't add this into the ingredients because it's optional you don't really have to add it in here but I'm going to add about two teaspoons of parsley just a tad bit of salt and some pepper okay and I'm just going to mix this together until everything is well combined okay now that everything is well combined I'm just going to add this into the meatballs here get all of that goodness out oh this smells so good that allspice if you've not added allspice into your Swedish meatball recipe do that it gives it so much flavor so I'm just going to give this a little stir and we're going to cover this up and cook this on high for about two to three hours um, come in and check it around the two hour mark um, it, like I said before, it really depends on how fast your slow cooker is. Um, I'm just going to cook this on high for about two to three hours. And then we'll come in and we'll add the noodles. And then I'll meet you right back here. Oh, and you're also going to need some sour cream. So we'll use that a little bit later on um, after these get done. Okay, so this has been cooking for about two hours. I've got half a bag of egg noodles here that I'm just going to add to this. And then we'll let it cook for about another 10 to 15 minutes until the egg noodles get done. And then we will add in our sour cream. Okay, guys, so this has been cooking for about 35 minutes. I kind of got sidetracked. But I'm going to go ahead and add in my sour cream. Add that right into the bowl here. And then I'm just going to mix this together and I'll show you what it looks like when I get it all mixed together and it's ready to go. Okay guys, so I've got this all nice and well combined. And the noodles are completely tender and this is ready to go. I just serve this, I just put it in a bowl, top it with a little bit of parsley, and you're good to go. You can serve it with veggies, you can serve it with breadsticks, whatever you want to do, that's fine. It's so delicious and so easy. And don't forget to put a little bit of allspice in there because that allspice is going to give it a ton of flavor. So yeah, we're just going to plate this up and have some dinner. And before I go, I just want to let you know that you don't have to cook your pasta in here. You can cook this on the stove and add this right when you add in your sour cream right at the end. And you're good to go. I added mine to this and it's going to take a little bit longer to cook. About 30 to 40 minutes for your noodles to cook in the crock pot. But like I said, you can always cook them on the stove. Cook them up until they're tender. Add them in here. Add the sour cream mix it together and you're good to go. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And if you want the measurements for this recipe, I will leave them in the description box below. Like I said, I will not put this recipe up on my blog. Everything will be in the description box, so you can check that out down there. Um, but if you want any of my other recipes, you can check the link in the description box as well in the comment section. I always have it pinned there. So yeah, you guys, we're going to go enjoy dinner, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.